Hi, this is Diana, your favorite astro nerd. And yes, I am back. I have like three sky objects that I have been able to photograph, all of them in the uh, constellation of Cygna. I am attacking this constellation because right now the uh, scene conditions are very good. It's a good position for my telescope. So I decided to go ahead and photograph for the first time the NGC 6960, also known as the uh, Veal Nil Nebula, which is also known as the Filamentary Nebula, and I'm just did the uh, part of it, which is that very pretty long, looks like a swan. So I am going to be doing on this one uh, the combination of S H O, also known as Sho, <laughs> uh, sulfur, ha. Huh? Hydrogen alpha and oxygen three. These are the uh, calibration frames. This is my first RGB combination. Uh, you can see you, some of the problems are very noticeable right now. This is the uh, starless image. It's also showing the, a lot of problems. The uh, stars uh, frame looks good. I, I don't see any problems there. And the root of this problem is uh, one night that I had bad framing. I was not able to frame correctly. The purpose of this video is to show the uh, gradient exterminator script or filter for Photoshop. I used it for the first time on this image and it solved a terrible problem that I had during the entire uh, processing. And uh, you're going to see the before and after how well it did in just two or three steps uh, versus two or three hours of me trying to figure out how to solve this problem. I also want to uh, give a preview of my photo of the Western Veal Nebula. So let's just go ahead and start with the uh, problem and how I solve it. Okay, so here's my image. I am going to create a quick selection around the, the uh, nebulosity. Doesn't need to be perfect. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not what I want. I need to use a different tool. It's the lasso tool. I'm sorry about that. And I am going to do something as they explain in their... page. Let's just go and kind of like invert this under selection, inverse. Okay, and now I can apply the uh, gradient exterminator, which is under filter, RC, astro. Let's just do the medium. Wow, wow, it fixed the problem. <laughs> this is like pest control for astrophotography using the RC Astro. Wow, okay. Um, I think I'm going to do it one more time. This time I may just do the low. This is pretty impressive. Oh, wow. Let me see if I crop this image a little bit. I want to get rid of that circle there, which I know it's my mistake in some of the, uh, one of the processes I, I did that. Uh, wow, look at my face. This is like pest control for astrophotography. Gradient exterminator. I like it. I like it. You may not like it, but I do. Wow. Very good, so now that I completed the first part, um, which is uh, 
to remove most of the uh, gradients in the image. And I am kind of like on this step right here. And now the uh, second part of it, of it, it's that we are going to detail a little bit more on the corrections to fully flat in the background. And for that, we are going to use the magic wand tool in Photoshop. And we're going to set the tolerance between five and 10 and make sure the continu continuous check uh, box is selected. So this is the next step we're going to do here. And then I am going to start seeing uh, maybe just parts of it that it's going to be selected. And I have two options. I can just uh, press uh, Alt, A-L-T key and continue looking for those um, parts of the background, or I can just increase the uh, tolerance. So um, let's just go ahead to my image. Okay, so this is the image um, as it is from the uh, first procedure with the gradient exterminator. So now I am going to go to my uh, magic wand tool and I have it at 15 because I already tried at five and eight and it was, it needed more. So I just going to do it at 15. Okay. And that looks pretty good right there. Then the next step is that we are going back to the lasso tool uh, in order to get deselect all those uh, points that are on the nebula itself that we don't want that to be those to be touched and you just go a little bit around it around it i know there's another area area here that i don't want it to be touched and then we are going to do it like that boom and that looks pretty good uh next we are going to go here real quick into filters rc astro gradient exterminator and what they are recommending is to do uh, the aggressiveness on high and the detail on fine and balance background color and we just go into press ok and that should be it. Uh, we can repeat this several times. Let's see the final image. And I think it looks really good. I mean, let's just compare what I have before. I think this photo looks pretty decent and most of the people will agree with me that it looks good, especially for a beginner. Finally, I want to say that the uh, overall, the Russell Croman astrophotography products are amazing i have three of them already look at all the uh online instructions manual that comes with it it explains everything uh all the details the coarse medium fine what it's doing uh, obviously you know you can pick the uh, strength that you can use in it balancing the background color checking the background multi-passes correcting for vignetting so i highly recommend these products i am very happy so far with them and now let's just go ahead and uh, look again to the uh, western veal nebula this was pretty quick considering the uh, how complex this uh, western Bill Nebula is. This is how you start. Uh, it will get better and better f with ev every object, the sky object. And thank you so much for watching and for your support. This is the uh, Westernville Nebula. Mm -hmm.